If you clicked on this video without knowing who Jenny Lee Harrison is, you are in for a treat. With her being on Three's Company, being a stepmother of two children, and being a spokesperson for infomercial products, here are the reasons why you should know Jenny Lee Harrison. But before we're getting into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed, and we'll do our best to personally reply to your comment. Now, are you ready to step into the world of Jenny Lee Harrison? Jenny Lee was born in Los Angeles in 1958 to an aerospace engineer and a math teacher. Growing up with four siblings, her parents wanted them to value nature in playing outside more than staying in and wasting endless hours watching television. Despite obeying her parents, Harrison's passion for acting started when she was very young and was determined that you don't have to watch every movie ever made to make it in Hollywood. Despite starting to model at a very young age, Jenny Lee is one of those actresses who didn't give up on her education and was determined to finish high school despite her modeling career taking off. Wherever Jenny Lee went, she stood out. With her beautiful figure, being a tall and blonde, and having glowing skin, there is no surprise that she entered the world of beauty pageants. Out of all the times that she entered, she won four times, earning the titles of Miss San Fernando Valley, Miss Hollywood, Miss Young America, and Miss Los Angeles from Super Bowl to acting. Like many beautiful girls with long legs and a to-die-for smile, Harrison joined the cheerleading team when she was in high school. While many leave their cheerleading days behind after they finish school, Jenny Lee became a cheerleader for the Los Angeles Rams and stayed with them for two years. Because of that position, you can see her in the highlight film that showed cheerleaders in the dressing room before they began cheering on the Super Bowl 14. However, that wasn't the only feature being a cheerleader brought her. In one of the episodes in season two of the TV show Chips, the two main characters, who were cops, pull over a van full of cheerleaders and Jenny Lee was one of them. Harrison was sure that her two small debuts were a sure ticket to Hollywood. With the money she made being a model and by filming several TV commercials, she could pay for her education at the University of Southern California, where she got the title of Sweetheart of Sigma Chi in her last year. Before she finished her education, she met the acting coach Joyce Selznick, who trained her to become a better actress and helped her polish her acting skills so she could follow her dreams in Hollywood. Harrison's Big Break if you ever heard of Jenny Lee Harrison, you probably know her from her famous role of Cindy Snow on Three's Company. She was 21 when she replaced the actress Suzanne Somers because the producers wanted her to leave as she wanted more money for her role on the show. She played the stereotypical blonde who was used to farm life and was a bit clumsy, which she showed in the first episode she appeared on. Even though Jenny Lee replaced such a major character in season 5, she didn't get opening credits, but got her name to appear only at the end of the show naming one of the guest stars. Her time on the show gave her fame. With the start of the sixth season, Jenny Lee's role on the show was minimized because a new actress joined in. However, she got the opening credits, which, at the time, was big for her. The new actress that joined the team was Terry Alden, and with the role, she got made Harrison only act as her replacement. As with any actor, this wasn't fun for either of them, and they both said it was rather unpleasant. Even though most people say that the first three seasons of the comedy show were the best, Jenny Lee made the later seasons memorable and gave them life with her positive attitude and always bringing something funny to the screen. Leaving Three's Company With Alden getting a more prominent role on Three's Company, the writers of the show were struggling to include Jenny Lee with each episode. The producers thought she was getting too old to play the character, and by the end of season six, they wrote her character off the show without giving her proper explanation. She knew that them saying she was too old was just an excuse, since Alden was older than her while playing a much younger character. It later came out that the producers of the show deemed her inexperienced and thought she wasn't bringing what they envisioned for the show, making her time on the show end with the 24th out of the 28 episodes of season 6. Jenny Lee was killed off a show two times. Since Jenny Lee saw Three's Company as her breakthrough in Hollywood, she was disappointed how quickly it ended. She thought that since she got the opening credits, she will become a more regular on the show, while the opposite happened. That, however, didn't ruin Harrison's passion for acting, and she looks back on the role of that show as an opportunity rather than something sad, and getting a role in the feature film Tank in 1984 made herself prove that she still has what it takes. Not even two years later, Jenny Lee got a chance to appear on a popular TV drama, Dallas, where she played as a recurring character, Jamie Ewing Barnes. Her character was on the screen for two years, and despite having a memorable performance on the show, she was actually more known for being killed off the show twice. Once she started a car and it ended up exploding and killing her. And just as it looked like that was the end for her on the show, the writers explained that the whole season 9, in which she debuted, was a dream. So they brought her back to the show, ironically, 
to kill her off once again, making her die in a mountain climbing accident. Unlike Three's company, leaving Dallas was her choice as she decided that acting in soap operas doesn't excite her anymore and wanted to start acting in more movies. Her acting career after Dallas. Despite wanting to act in TV films, Jenny Lee struggled to catch her lucky break, making mostly guest appearances on the TV shows like Murder, She Wrote, She's the Sheriff, and They Came from Outer Space. It wasn't until 1991 that Harrison landed the role of Elizabeth Armstrong along Christopher Lee in a horror movie called Panga. It seemed that the 90s were her lucky decade as she starred in a total of five films. The Love of Her Life as her career started to fade by the start of the new century and dating a few sportsmen in the 80s, she married a Los Angeles chiropractor to the stars in 1993. Even though the couple has been seen happy together many times and has been married for almost 30 years, they don't have any children together. Her husband, Dr. Bruce Oppenheim, however, has two children from his previous marriage to Sybil Shepard, Molly and Cyrus, to which Jenny Lee is a stepmother. Starring for infomercials mainly removing herself from the public life after making a guest appearance on That 70s Show and acting in a couple more movies, not much is known what Jenny Lee is doing now. But the good news is that we can still see her starring on infomercials from time to time, making it nice to see that beautiful smile again. Now that you know so many interesting things about the lovely Jenny Lee Harrison, we invite you to comment down below which one was your favorite and make sure to watch more videos in our series for more interesting facts.